Good afternoon. Hello. What is your name? Klishko Dmitry Alexandrovich. Date of birth. March 20th, 2000. Are you 23 years old? Coming soon. Are you military? Yes. Contract? Yes. When did you get to Ukraine? 10th of February. First? Yes. And before that? Was not. When did you sign? 20th year. From the 20th year to this moment, you did not take part? Yes, just recently. What military unit, rank, position, brigade, regiment? Regiment. 4, 8, 8. Rank. Corporal. Position. Deputy Combat Vehicle Commander. Gunner Operator. What car? BMP2. Do you voluntarily consent to the recording and publication? Yes. Where were you born? Bryansk region, Uneshki district, Zutilovo village. Are you here to kill us? It turns out like this. It goes like this. How much ammo did you spend? No one. Why is that? Did not have time. Did not have time. How much did you plan to kill my countrymen? No one. Why did you come here then? Order. Order. When did you cross the territory of Ukraine? 10th of February. As part of an echelon or what? With technology or without? Without technology. How many of you people came? About 20 or 30 people. Is it just crews? No. I was sent here in a mobilized regiment. I was not in my regular regiment. That is, I was brought as part of a mobilized regiment. With mobilized? Yes. Sergeant? No. Corporal. Corporal. What was your full-time position in your department? Gunner operator. That is, by profession, here I was assigned as a shooter. An infantryman? Yes. It turns out that you were a gunner operator, as you said at the beginning. Yes. But you've been made into a valiant stormtrooper. Yes, already here. And who was behind the gun? I don't know. Or was there no BMP? I don't know at all. We were brought here to your territory. Yeah. And they brought me here. Give you water? If I may. Can. They said in one or two days we'll change you and that's it. Tenth number. Tenth number. You brought. Yes. Two hours you waited, and then the car came. You were told, pack up and go, you will be the shooters. No, they didn't. I was just told. Ride to position. Yes. Not for long. Yes. They brought you. Their positions, everything is fine. Yes, but I don't know, they brought us at night. At night? Yes. They said you would be in those positions. That's it. So, what is next? This is all. We were shown a protected area. And that's it. Thermal imager? There was no thermal imager. Night light? The night light was given to us only four days later. Haven't you been changed? No. Have you really been scammed? Yeah, we didn't get switched. Why? I don't know. On the fourth day a nightlight was brought in. Something like this. And then? Then, on the 15th, they sent me for a bath. I went, washed, and on the 16th morning I arrived. And then I was taken prisoner. How were the five days in the trenches? How? How can I explain it to you? You can in English. We sat in the trenches for a day because of the shelling. Ukrainians? Yes. Did you shoot? No, we have nothing to shoot from. We were under fire from mortars. What small arms did you have? Only automatic weapons. What body armor and helmets did you have? I don't even know. Simple, or how do you say? I don't know how they're different, numbered or otherwise. Body armor and helmets. Yeah. Was there enough provision? Differently. I have heard many different versions. Sometimes they would bring stew, or not stew, or water when there wasn't enough. Was there a shortage? Well, yes, or we didn't have enough at all. Not enough food? Yes, they didn't deliver it to us. What did you eat? Nothing. How long did you fast for? The record was six days. I can't say that we were starving there. 
dry pack? No, there were no dry rations. There was stew and water. Stew and water? Yes. Bread? Yes, there was bread too. How many people were in positions? There are five in one trench, two in the second. Yeah. Seven people, and I didn't go to the other positions. I don't even know how many people were there. During these first five days were there any wounded and dead? Yes, they were. Who was killed? Were injured. How many? I do not know exactly. There were seven of you. No, we weren't. Did not have. Yes, but they were. Were not killed? During this time? Yes. No. Five days later they brought you to bathe. Why so long? You almost froze there. We were told there was no one to trade you for. Nobody? Yes. Did you have those who refused to go to positions? Where I was, there were none. Did not have. Everyone loves Stalin? I don't know if they like it or not, but it didn't. What idea did you come here for? Order. Or? Or prison. How many? I don't know, it's a long time. How much is this? Maybe seven years. So it was like this, they say to you, go to war or go to jail? And you, without asking for a term, immediately agreed? You understand that this is nonsense. What is the price of your life? You could be killed. What is better? I did not understand. What do you understand now? Well, you were already badly wounded, in captivity. You didn't understand anything until now? I realized that it's not that simple. Super. What exactly is hard? What is not just? I don't know. I'm in no hurry, you can think, you can drink water, you can smoke, if it helps you think. Do you know anything about the Donetsk and Lugansk republics? I don't know. Stalin. Putin. How long has Putin been in power? 20 years. Does anyone need this war? I can't answer, I don't know. Do you think someone like you benefits your king? Don't know. Beneficial. A dude who doesn't ask questions. Sorry about the word dude, I don't think that's an insult. A dude who doesn't ask questions, and he got drafted. He was good for two years. Two years, 12 months for $400. Right? Right. Rents an apartment, seems to be doing well, gets an easy job. Goes to the military department, then comes back. Right? Yes. Right. Doesn't worry, soldiers go somewhere. Once a month he starts up the BMP, checks it and washes it. Wasn't there a car in the unit? No. Didn't have a car? No. Two years? I served in another regiment, then I was transferred. Were you an urgent soldier in the regiment? No, in another regiment. Whom did you serve? In artillery. Artilleryman. Yes, I was a driver and then I was transferred to another regiment. Have you been shooting all this time? I had an advanced artillery unit. We rode on it. Advanced artillery? Yes. In Moscow? In St. Petersburg. Clean painted car? Yes, painted and washed. Could shoot? No. Couldn't shoot? I don't know. I was just driving there. And that's it. It should have been nice. Yes. How much gas did you use before you were let out on the parade? It's none of my business. Did you run the car? Well. How much did you prepare? One and a half months. Every day? Yes. How much did you drive each day? About four to five hours of driving. Forty-five days of four hours. You drove two hundred hours. I don't know. It's clear. To drive five minutes. Yes. What is your combat training? I have not it. They send unprepared soldiers who signed a contract, along with soldiers who don't understand why they're here at all. You don't really understand? Yes, too. I was sent here. When they brought me in, it wasn't clear. I don't even know the commanders. I don't know anybody at all. They told us it would be like this. They sent us away and that's it. Did everyone speak Russian? Yes. It turns out, a sociable team. You have to look for some positive aspects. Those who were on the front line, did anyone want to fight? Those with whom I was in the trench did not want to. They were all mobilized. What? They said they were brought in for a day or two, too. In the end, the guys sat there for a week. Either fight or go to jail. Do you think it is possible to win with such motivation? At this point, after everything that has happened, you can already make some kind of decision. 
Maybe thanks to watching the video, as it happened to me. I didn't know at the time. How were you taken prisoner? That is. How many were captured? There were eight of us. Eight people. Shooting started, but we were told before that to sit and guard the road. There was a wooded area, and there was a road on the left. We were told that we were only guarding it and nothing else. The shooting started, and before that we were told not to come out of there, because backup would come. So we sit in trenches so we don't get hit. Something like that. But that's how it happened, the shooting started. Your soldiers had already come close. They started shouting. Surrender. We started running away. That's how I got wounded. Bullet wound? Yes. Among those who were standing there, that is this. We had no radio, we had nothing. That's understandable. If you had told me what it was, I would have been genuinely surprised. I want to understand, how many people like you have to be killed before your people start doing something? Can you tell me? I cannot. Are there a lot of ex-soldiers still behind the contract? I mean, I want to point out that if they use parade squads. Am I saying it right? No, I was transferred later. How long were you in your new position? Were you transferred in the year 22nd? Yes. They use parade squads, which are supposed to ride in the parade. All they have to be able to do is keep an eye on the condition of the equipment, start it up, and drive it for two kilometers. Yes? If they are already being made shooters, then who will go in a car on the 9th of May, the day of the defeat? Don't know. Well, they're classic soldiers, they go to the army because they don't have to do anything and they get paid. And then when the army and the homeland says, dude, go and die. Then they start saying something. Is there anything interesting about your war story? No. At all? Yes. Kinda boring. Is not boring. When were you taken from the army? Taken away? To war. I want to know how much you were trained before the war. I was sent. How many more are there? Don't know. The war is one year. Yes. Have you had the wounded and the dead? Yes. They were exactly. Some have dwindled. Seems yes. What will mother say? Don't even know. How do you think? Hello. 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 Mother. What? Mother. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. I'm Dmitry, a journalist from Ukraine. Yes? Your son is wounded and in Ukrainian captivity. Will you talk to him? Yes, sure. I need your consent to record and publish. Fine. You don't say where you are. Okay. Fine? Hello, hello. How are you doing? Fine. Seriously? Yes. Everything is fine. I'm alive and well. Only the leg was shot. Do not scare me. In terms of? Everything is fine? Yes. It's fine here. They feed me. Your dad and I are going to dig potatoes. Yeah, I understand. Did you know that I'm in captivity? What? Did you know where I am? In captivity? Yes. You? I. No. Tell Aunt Nina that I am a prisoner so that she does not worry. Are you in the hospital or in captivity? I am in Ukraine. There? Yes. Will they kill you? No. Can you call them? No. I'm calling you under cameras now. Don't swear and don't say anything bad. Is this your second number? No. I have one number. You call me yourself, right? Yes. Sorry son, we love you. Fine. Son, okay? I'm sorry, bunny. Yes okay, tell everyone I'm fine. Nobody is bullying you? No, it's all right. They don't beat me, they feed me. I'm fine. You're not in the hospital, are you in captivity? Yes. Will you call me later? Yes okay. Sorry bunny. Yeah. Tell everyone I'm alive and well. Okay, call me later. Yes okay. We love you. Okay, and I love you. Yes yes. Bye. 
Here you go. I've got it. I didn't ask any questions. That's usually how I talk to the person I'm talking to. Just because. Can I smoke? Can. They promised to call your sister. Yeah. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. This is good. Your brother is in captivity. What? What about him? He's okay. He's wounded. He's a prisoner of war. Will you talk to him? Certainly. I need consent to record and publish. I agree. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? Everything is fine. How are you? Were you badly hurt? It's okay. I'll live and be able to walk. I just need to lean on it. And money? No. I don't need money. Calm down. How are you? I'm good. The main thing is that you're good. Fine. Dima, did you check Vicontacta? No. They wrote terrible things about you. What to say then? They wrote from my account, right? Vicontacta and WhatsApp. Yep, I get it. My phone was taken away. We immediately knew that it was not you. How are you? How are you studying? Well, soon I will go to practice at Miratorg to work. Yeah, I understand. Did you know where I am? I just realized this. Okay, don't cry. It's okay. I don't get beaten up. I get fed. It's okay. Can you call later? Do not know when. I can, but I don't know when. Dima, hold on, please. We love you very much. I love you very much too. Okay, don't cry. You're the only one left with me. Well, that's enough. Shooting in progress. Hold on. Call Aunt Nina and Godmother. Say I'm alive and well. Fine. It's okay. Calm down. Don't cry. Fine. Bye. I love you very much. Me too. It was good to see you. We are all waiting for you. Bye. 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 You are happy? Now at least they know that I'm alive. What have we done wrong? In all this time, in fact, from what I have seen, nothing bad happened at all. Even thanks to your people, I'm still alive. If they hadn't given me first aid at the time, I would have died. Why are you slaves of your system and the system uses you as it wants? Don't know. It would be hard to talk about any lofty topics here for the reason. Can I smoke? You can. For the reason that a person is really unlikely to have the opportunity to debate and argue. Are you an occupier? Rhetorical question. Do you know the definition of this term? No. There you go. That's what I just said. Basically, a classic occupier who will do any job assigned to him by the king for money. An occupier is an invader of someone else's land. Is Ukraine an independent country? It seems to be no, an ordinary country. Cool, right? What does independent mean? I do not know what it is. Give some definition of this term. Putin needs such people. Ashtray. Yes, such people are much needed by the Tsar, who do not know the word independent country. They are dependent on their salary of $400. They are uneducated, abandoned by their families. This is the perfect dude for any task. What is the population of our country? Do you know? Don't know. Approximately. Don't know. And your homeland? Don't know. The population of your country. Ours? Your country. I don't know, I haven't looked. There you go. That's the whole joke. And the more stupid and uneducated they are, no critical thinking, no skills of any kind. No one has ever been abroad, it's understandable. And here only one out of fifty had ever gone out. And that was when he was a kid. This is Russia in its purest form. That's how she is. Drinking, not thinking. If they give you a piece of meat, they tear it up. They give them pancakes on a shovel and they are happy. They don't want to go to jail. What will happen in prison? Wagner? Yes, also Wagner. Wagner, who is again recruiting cannon fodder. I say it's a vicious circle. Do you have something to say? Maybe you want to ask a question? No. Not one question? Wow. That's a first. Traditionally, POWs address their fellow prisoners of war if they want to. If they don't want to, they don't. What does it mean? Viewers from Russia will watch it as well. Many thousands of people will watch this video. Maybe you can tell them something to hear. For example, 
about whether you have to go here. Have you seen the Nazis here? No, Banderavites? Biodoves? What is that? I do not know this. Even the pigeons are fighting for us, you know? He will not address the audience. Thank you for the conversation.